Hey, this is Anthony Thrift. Come watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Dianese Gran Turismo Gore-Tex jacket and pants available at Revzilla.com. This is the new Gran Turismo from Dianese, releasing fall of 2018. It is part of this new super technical juggernaut Gore-Tex adventure collection that includes the Antarctica, the Gran Turismo as its baby brother, and the Dolomiti, which is the baby brother at that. In our estimation, these are really three to four season, really more cool to cold weather oriented adventure bomb-proof pieces of gear. But the nice part is they're full Gore-Tex, waterproof, breathable, guaranteed for life. And this bad boy has a microfiche destination liner that is fully removable. Now, coming in around the $1,100 mark, it is no joke. And it is going to go heads up with Climb, Revit, Ruka, the big boys in this category. And certainly over 40 years, Dionese has proven that it is a big boy in the category. But what I will tell you is that I like the Gran Turismo better than I like the Antarctica, its big brother. For another $400, you're gonna get a puffer jacket, you get Trixion material, which you can watch at Detail Breakdown in its entirety, and you get tie zip pulls. But you're saving the coin here, you still have Armacore, you're still CE level two, elbow, shoulder, and back inclusive, and ultimately you have a removable monkey paw. Some folks love the monkey paw, some folks don't like the monkey paw. Here on the Gran Turismo, you can take it off and tune this jacket a little bit better for warmer weather riding, whereas the Antarctica, as the name implies, it is more cool to cold weather. Well, this guy's gonna allow you to limp a little bit closer to three, three and a half season, but I'll tell you, dead of summer, you only have three vents. You have two on the chest, they are sealed, you have one on the back, it is sealed. Two entries, one exhaust, not enough, there's not enough intake and exhaust exhaust on this jacket to make a true four season. Again, a simple fix for that Dynasty. If you're looking, make an iteration next year, give me a sleeve zip right down here. You already gave me the ability to take the monkey paw off. Now, there is a pant that directly links here with the Gran Turismo, three colors in this bad boy, including a high vis. This is your anthracite black. You could tell I am net positive on the jacket, even though it is two months of car payments or two months of really expensive bike payments, however you want to look at it, to basically invest at this level. Now, quick note on fitment. Tom to my left. 5'11", 205, 42 inch chest. He's wearing, he's got 33 inch jeans waist, 32 inch inseam, 52 and a 52. No surprises here. And note, there's a lot of adjustability. You have Dianese bringing back their bicep vent or zip adjusters. You have adjusters down here along the hip. You remember, if you step up to the Antarctica, it's that baked in kidney belt. This does not have that. But even the way these pockets are done, if you fill them, they allow for flex. They allow them to billow out and get away from the sides of you while you're riding. Now, other things here that you can adjust here are gonna be your snapback collar. Again, not a full storm cuff. And I will tell you that there could always be more stretch in these jackets. It is SPL 200, or SPL 600 rather, from Gore-Tex, which means the waterproof breathability is baked into that outer shell. It is fully laminated with vents that pass directly through. But there is a Gore stretch material, and they could be using a little bit more of that to increase the range of motion in a jacket that really put through its bomb-proof paces would probably see a lot of standing on the pegs or really navigating two track or single track, which is a much more active riding style and you wanna have a little bit more range of motion. You don't need to be able to get in the tuck, but you need to be able to be comfortable really using your entire body on the bike. Now, use the size chart, we'll ship free over 39 bucks. I think I already mentioned that these are gonna be 52 pants as well with adjustable knees. And as always, click our logo, subscribe to us, Revzilla on our YouTube channel, leave me your comments, request your feedback here on the Gran Turismo. Now, diving in, one thing I didn't mention that I like better than the Antarctica is the fact that they're using, I'm sure the guys at Revit in the Netherlands are not happy about this, but this is the most badass reflective around, super adventure, super hardcore, kind of punches you in the mouth using more reflective, and I like that. The other thing I want to call out, and I haven't talked about it yet, is the upgrade in this, this configuration. Saw it on the Antarctica. This is where you put your gloves. When you get off your bike, under your armpits with mesh back panels, they sit nicely and out of the way. Nice functional innovation from Dianese. Now, Tom, turn and face that way for me. If we look at the side, big demon logo over top of this armor core, over top of your CE level two armor. Shoulder elbow all the way down the forearm. And remember, this is Armacore. It's not the Trixie or you'd see at that next level up, but it is Armacore, tried and true. For many years, this was the apex in the abrasion resistance food chain. This is Kevlar and Cordura woven together, Aramid Cordura Armacore, making a really bomb-proof ripstop material in your impact areas, elbows, knees, all the way down your forearm, in the shoulder. Again, working with you to keep you bomb-proof and beefy if you go down. I've gone down on this stuff. It works quite well. Notice, here in the back here, you do have 
a mixture of materials that could stretch a little bit more. And this is where I start to want to see more stretch on this jacket, really just from a range of motion standpoint. Turn the face away from me there, Tom. If we look at the back here, remember CE level two back protector, big reflective panel. Notice the high collar on this. And what you're gonna see as well is this is the integrated thermal micro rip stop on the collar, that's fully removable. That comes and snaps right out. And here's your big back exhaust vent, which is direct panel venting right across the back rabbit pouch. And if you zoom all the way down, you're gonna see the stretch on the back sides of the legs and the anterior side rear entry and exit for your boot or for your cuffs. Notice the way this sits in the back too and the, the fact that the reflective scheme wraps all the way around. I also like the very subtle minimization of the Dionese logos. Again, muted, understated. It's still there, but it works. Come back around to the front for me there, Tom. If he's gonna get Get ready to open this bad boy up. Start to unzip it. I will tell you the Antarctica is a bit more of a cumbersome collar or cumbersome cuff here. The main connection on this zipper gives you that double zip to create the rain gutter effect and really make sure no water gets to the main connection zip, but it is a little bit cumbersome. Notice your pockets. They will take chest armor on the front here. You can add it later. That's the pocket interior. Two base pockets here. And then, like I said earlier, God, reach up and pull that out, Tom, from the other side. What you're gonna see is you can pull that out and you can just drop it. That's your thermal ripstop collar. Notice you do have an interior kidney belt, 360 degree zip. You have the ability to cinch this. You have 3D bubble mesh, which again, creates a microclimate, allows you to breathe. And even on the interior here, you're gonna see that it is micro mesh. I will tell you that remember, your destination that we don't have on him right now because he'd be dying, it's warm in here today, is a micro fleece. It's a soft shell. When you step up, you get the big full-time puffer. But all in, if we look at this, even if we look at the pants, slide lock, zipper, suspenders that can be removed, basic pockets, big water-resistant zips down along the thigh that are gonna flow a ton of air. This is a three to four season bomb-proof outfit. Again, with lots and lots of Apex Predator bells and whistles, but being the less expensive, slightly less technical version of the Antarctica. I actually like the reflective scheme and the fact that you can remove the damn monkey paws on this jacket a little bit better. Dionese, you need to optimize for four season skewing warm weather. I know you have the D Explorer, but there's so much right about this jacket. Give me another extra couple vents and allow us to breathe it a little bit better and maybe you stretch this through the summer as well. You can zip it back up. So all in, you get a baseline. The next step in your journey, click the info button, visit the product detail page for jacket and pan at revzilla.com, read other rider reviews. You shouldn't just take my word for it. As always, we'll ship for over 38 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek on fit or function, see us at revzilla.com, 8777 9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us for Revzilla on our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with our opinion. Latest and greatest in the Moto Universe. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.